Hello, Emma Kraus. How are you? We're good. Are we rolling, Durkin? We're good? We're ready to rock. Um, it's lovely to see you. I've yeah, been a long again. time. I haven't <laughs> seen... I think it's I've been only, ages. We've only crossed paths, I think, once. <laughs> once or twice, Yeah, max. yeah. But yeah. yeah. But we're yeah. back. We're, we're here. Back. We're, we're here. enjoying it. Yeah. It's good. Uh, how was your day? Yeah, good. Had yeah. a good time. You gigging tonight? Yeah, yep. You're going to be in this lovely venue, aren't you? I am, yeah. What a pleasure. Great. Yeah, what a it's pleasure. good. Well, I wanted to know, I mean, I don't know a lot about you, Emma. I mean, yeah. I've heard nothing but good things and that makes oh, me really? suspicious. So I want to know <laughs> some want to know some juice about you. But uh, I wanted to know, you. I was doing a little bit of research on you. Oh, really? Emma, I did a bit of research, a little bit of a deep dive, a little bit of a stalk. And um, it turns out you started comedy at 40. <laughs> yeah. Which means that you started comedy in, in. 10 years' time. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Hey, look at that. That almost it's went slow over. Up the hey. mark here. No, no, no. You started at 40, which is crazy. I mean, yeah. First yeah. of all, I want your skin routine. And second of all, I want <laughs> to know why it was at 40 and how yeah. it was. I guess uh, in my 20s, or in my teens and 20s, I was always too scared. Mm. And then in my 30s, I had little kids. I, was, I had twins. And um, I don't know. I think when you turn. 40 or any birthday where there's a zero at the end, you kind of have a little panic reflection. Attack. <laughs> yeah. And I sure thought, was panic attack, yeah, it? well, you know, you're going to be dead soon. And then sure. you think, well, <laughs> like, what do I want to do? And what do I, what am I going to regret not trying when I'm older? Uh, and yeah, comedy was one of those things that I, don't, I secretly, very secretly yeah. always wanted to try, but never told anyone. Yeah. Yeah. Good, good on you. So um, you just went, it was 40th birthday, was it? No, it wasn't my, oh, it was kind of like this thing where I was like secretly in my head, I didn't really tell anyone, but I was like, that's what I want to do. And I just had this big problem that I couldn't do public speaking, like, because uh, yeah. I was a teacher. Um, oh, okay. Well. And I, I remember getting up in an assembly once and um, had to use a microphone and it was like, I was sweating and it was it was horrible. Yeah. Like I, I forgot what I was going to say and I got so nervous and I just had to talk about the PNC recipe book. Do you know? It was like. <laughs> just referring to yeah. it. And page 42, we got a lovely yeah. quiche. It was, um, it was so bad. Right. It was so bad. Like one of the Where's kids. Where's the footage said, of that? Oh, it was, I wish I taped it because yeah. it was that bad. And I, I want to show people to say, you know, when they say, oh, I'd like to do it, but I'm a bit scared. I'm like, you've got no idea. Sure. Yeah. Where, where you started? Because how was your first gig and where was it? Do you remember? Um, yeah, it was at the Gong Show when it was at here, oh like North Perth. Yeah, but they North didn't have Perth. the paddles then. They didn't have the paddles. Oh. Okay, sure. They just it's so it. bad now. They yeah, just hold the paddles. Yeah, you can see. Like, yeah, sure, it's sure, awful. sure. Yeah, but no, they didn't have the paddles. And um, trial by fire. John was in. on the Gong then, and I, he, I think he, he just felt sorry for me because he didn't Gong me off. <laughs> John feels sorry for no one. You did great. That's the truth <laughs> of it. That's the truth of it. But yeah. you, regardless of anything, you enjoyed. You, you enjoy conquering the fear, so to speak, and you said yeah, you never I did. Back since. Uh, I did like a year of Toastmasters first. Before, Toastmasters. Um, do you know before like my time? Um, they're like a organisation who just help anyone do public speaking. Oh, okay, great. I didn't yeah, know that. yeah. So yeah. I went there, and it was l- literally each time it wasn't comedy; it was just talking in mm. front of a small group of people, and that my heart would almost beat out of my chest, even if it was like five people. Yeah. So I did that for such, and I didn't, I just said, oh, just here to try to overcome public speaking. And then yeah. um, I planned a speech that I thought I'd try to make funny and still not tell anyone. And it was just about watching men watch football. And um, I, a few people said, oh, that was really funny. And then I kind of thought, oh, okay, maybe I could try something here. And that's what I did at my first show. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, and then... You know, I kind of got there and everyone, everyone backstage was so nice, but they were all young guys and I I just thought this isn't the place for me. Like yeah. I, I just, it, um, it wasn't anything that anyone said. It was just a feeling that mm, I don't know that I belong here. Sure. Um, and that's when John said, no, your voice is important because we have crowds, we have women, you know, yeah, of course. your age and we want them to come. So they need a voice and your voice can be for them. And I, th- I thought that's really nice to, do you know, if he hadn't have said that, I could have just kind of thought mm, maybe not. And sure. then I've tried it. So I'm really grateful. That's yeah, great. That yeah, well, it's yeah. so true. I mean, you need all these different voices and you need, because yeah. comedy is for everyone. You know? Yeah. And I think yeah. it's a great compliment though, because I mean, I, I, I've, I've seen you only one time on stage and everyone that mm. I've spoken to about it, it's like your comedy isn't just for for, for oh. the ladies either. It's very universal. Thank you. Which yeah. is good, you it, know? it goes on in your head though. Do you know? Oh, for I'm sure. Only, yeah, but... I'm um, just for this yeah. person and then yeah. Hope, yeah, you see yeah. someone else laughing. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's just a... Good feeling yeah. though, isn't it? 
Yeah, yeah. But yeah. speaking about the bad feelings, I mean, you had this yeah. crippling feeling of, of, you know, public speaking. You, you, yeah. push, you push through it and you're still working. I'm sure it's an ongoing battle always. But uh, what sort of techniques helped you? I mean, I know you did the year with the Toastmasters. But is there anything when you get the nervous backstage, when you're about to get up tonight, is there any pre-show rituals that you do that you like to help calm the nerves yeah. or help you perform? I actually, um, I actually got really sick before like the Raw Comedy final and I actually went to the doctor and um, I'd said, you know, I've I'm doing this tonight and she said oh right that's probably making you sick and she Mm. just taught me like the breathing where you just go in for 10 and then you hold for 10 and then you go out for 10 Right. and she said you can actually change your heart you can lower your heartbeat doing that and I was like wow you know I never thought you could change your physiology just with your breathing yeah absolutely do a bit of that um I I try to visualize everyone laughing and I try to just stop it being so serious but um yeah, I, I guess it's just those first those few minutes before you walk out. It's always I just I'm prepared. Oh, you're gonna feel nervous. You, just, you expect yeah. it. You're like, it's it's yeah. gonna happen. There it is. Cool. No yeah. worries. Yeah. yeah, but it, I I thought it would go away, but for me it hasn't. I don't know what everyone else is like, but um, no. Well, I mean, everyone that I speak to generally, um, they all sort of say they have the same. It, it manifests in different ways for them. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they're always getting some kind of nerves, and and actually, if there's an absence of nerves, that's usually a bad sign. Yeah. You know, because you can be too zen. You yeah. can be like, I don't really need these people's approval. Yeah. Um, which is kind of a it's kind of where you do it. You need a little <laughs> bit of the recipe. You need a little bit. Of, you need, gotta want their approval a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Um, did you set yeah. any goals for yourself when you started out? Emma in a comedy where you're like oh I, I I mean I'm sure the goal was just to get on stage and conquer this fear but then did yeah. you do the goalpost move you're like me you're like a greedy person where you <laughs> you achieve a goal and suddenly that's not enough and now I want the world yeah I know I I, Mars. no I didn't really have that much confidence I, I just it was just to get better I, I remember my fir- very first gig I kind of was so relieved that I, it was over and yeah. I just there was this like that was just it. Just to actually walk out, grab the microphone, speak and get off. That was the only goal. But that that gig, I remember Georgie Carroll was headlining. Oh, Georgie and I, Carroll, It was one of the best. perfect because I was like, oh, what? You know, like yeah. it was just, that, you know, so I guess it might have been maybe to be funny like her to, you know, to be that fluid and that capable and that relaxed and – um but yeah, that that was I was so grateful that that happened on my first gig just to say, hey, look, look at it's possible. Yeah, what you could do. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we're yeah. all aiming for Georgie yeah. Carroll. Shout yeah. out to her. She's the best. I love her yeah. bits. Um, yeah. If you if you could go back and give advice to your younger self, I mean, we don't look back and regret. We never do, Emma. But yeah. you know, if you could go back to Emma in her twenties or her thirties, um, you know, uh, shy, not wanting to try it out. What advice would you give? Would you give young Emma? Yeah, I, I guess I'd say to do it. Um, yeah. Yeah, someone said, I met someone the other day and they said they, they wanted to do it. And I, I'm like, why? You? They said, oh, I don't have why enough time. Why would you want to do this? Yeah, I know. <laughs> but you honestly, I, you, you, go, you grow so much in, mm. in, other, in ways that you don't expect. Like you, you just get so much more resilient and more confident. And um, yeah, so... I, I, I guess I'd say to myself, do it um, not to be good at comedy, but for the other bits of growth that you'd have. And also like when you have a situation in your life where it's quite negative or you feel angry or annoyed, you, you instantly kind of think, oh, this could be funny. And I just think that's quite healthy. So it's just so many things mm. that aren't about standing up and doing well that it just all it improves your life. So I guess, yeah, if, if I had have known that, I definitely didn't know that at the start. I'd say that, that it's just going to be good for you in a lot of other ways. Yeah, I agree with that completely. Yeah. It's like you have that almost, I mean, I sometimes view it as like a, almost like a like a parasitic feature that I have in my mind where yeah. something bad happens to me. <laughs> oh, but I'm like, oh, it's going to be a great <laughs> bit in this. You know, I crashed yeah. my car like three weeks yeah. ago. And, you know, after I made sure everyone was fine and I was fine, I was thinking, can't wait to write material about it. There's going to yeah. be something. Where is it? Yeah. You know, yeah. there's a bit yeah. coming, which is, again, yeah. look. It's a positive, you know. It is. It's so otherwise, good. it's just negative, right? Yeah. Yeah. So. If you can laugh in that moment, I think you're killing it at life. Like if you can yeah. overcome that emotion, the negative emotion, yeah, then, you know, that's 
we're all trying to be happy, aren't we? Oh, for sure. 24-7 <laughs> yeah. if I can, you know. Well, this is a pleasure. I mean, I really enjoyed yeah. this, Emma. Uh, Are you going to be gigging tonight? We've got a shows later on. Yeah, yeah. Kendra so, Don. I think, is it 5.30? 5.30, we're kicking yeah. off a, the first yeah. show, but it's going to be fun. And, and where can people uh, catch you if they want to watch more? Have you got a website, emmacrouse.com? Yeah, emmacrouse.com or The Motherhood. Or um, well, Motherhood, yes. Yeah, so uh, we're going to New South Wales the week after next. Okay, great. Yeah, so that's probably coming up. Side Splitter and, yeah, the motherhoodcomedy.com. Motherhoodcomedy.com, EmmaKraus.com. Yep. Emma Kraus, a yeah. pleasure to get to know you more. Yeah, you too. <laughs> I'll right, we'll chat soon. Bye-bye.